time to check in with Jill Welke over at WAX to see what's happening in the crop world. Good morning, Jill. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing well. I realize I'm not as popular as Bob, but, you know, sometimes I just step right in there and we just leave him in Madison. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he is, huh? <laughs> That's where he is. It's the state FFA convention down okay. there. Of course. So I was down there yesterday. Got to see a lot of those blue jackets and the projects that these members bring together is just amazing to me. Well, There's, it sounds like a great time. Oh, yeah. It's And the smiles. They just like being together, too. <laughs> so well, we better get on to our farm sure. news. So the farmers have put their planters away. So now it's time to watch those crops grow. According to this week's crop progress report, farmers around the country now have 96% of their soybeans planted. That's 9% ahead of last year and ahead of the five-year average by 10 percentage points. That report also shows that 86% of the soybeans have emerged. That's 12% ahead of last year and 16 points ahead of the five-year average. The soybean crop is rated 59% good to excellent around the country. 93% of the corn crop has emerged around the country. That's up 8% from last week and 6% higher than the five-year average. The corn crop is rated 61% good to excellent around the country, and that's down 3 percentage points from last week and 11% below last year's rating. Here in Wisconsin, farmers are also watching their crops grow and getting a great start on the hay harvest. 89% of the corn crop has emerged. That's five days ahead of last year and six days ahead of the five-year average. Corn condition is rated 66% good to excellent, but that is down 6% from last week. Soybean planting is 89% complete with 83% of the crop emerged. That's five days ahead of last year and seven days ahead of the five-year average. Soybean condition is rated 62% good to excellent, but that is down 7% from last year. 90% of the corn oat oh, hmm 90% of the oat crop has emerged and is rated 71% good to excellent. Winter wheat is rated 66% good to excellent. That's down 9% from last week. And the first cutting of alfalfa hay was reported at 85% completed. That's 9 days ahead of last year and 8 days ahead of the 5-year average. Topsoil moisture is the biggest story of the week though as it is only rated 25% adequate, 46% short, and 29% very short, with all areas of the state needing some rain. And as I mentioned earlier, I was down at the state FFA convention, and on Tuesday, the 94th Wisconsin State FFA convention highlights included the presentation of the top proficiency awards in the state. FFA members with the help of their FFA advisors and their parents usually, fill out award forms detailing their agricultural projects and submit that information to the state level. Those projects are then judged according to their category and compared to members across the state with similar projects. And it's real, I mean, they get gold ratings, silver ratings, bronze ratings. Well, but here are the first place winners from our area. In the entrepreneurship category, that means they own their, own their project. From Whitehall FFA, Shay Hansen in Ag Mechanics Repair and Maintenance. Natalie Schuller from Chippewa Falls FFA in Equine Science, and Equine are the horses. <laughs> and Brittany Bauer in Specialty Animal Production from Marshfield FFA. From Amherst FFA, Jacob Gibbs in Specialty Crop Production. And Caleb Ellis in Swine Production from Cochrane Fountain City, FFA. First place winners from our area in the placement category. That means they like work at a job or they work at a farm. Madison Kwok from the Menominee FFA in Equine Science. From Amory FFA, Courtney Glenna in Dairy Production. And Emmeline Brandvig in Egg Sales from Toma FFA. And also the first place winner in Agriculture Education was Jesse Thompson from Gale Ettrick Temp. Trempolo FFA, and in Agriscience Research Plant Systems, Claire Val from Stevens Point FFA came in first. And she actually grows plant on what, you know, we would consider sand that isn't real productive. So congratulations to all those gold level winners. Let's slide on over to our markets. December, 
December corns at 5.44, down seven cents. December wheats at 6.59, down four and a half cents. November soybeans are at 12.31, down eight cents. And our cheese markets, barrel cheese, 159, 155, down two cents. Block cheese, 140 and a half, down one and three quarters. Our gray double A butter, 235 and a quarter, down a penny. And our class three futures, not looking very positive for June 1509 down two cents for July 1580 down 13 cents and August down 21 cents to 1659 and those markets are trending downward through the end of the year. So I Jill have a great one. You too.